The United States has officially launched a new class of loitering munition, the Lucas, low-cost uncrewed combat attack system, signaling a significant pivot in drone warfare strategy. Presented on July 16, 2025, at a Pentagon showcase of advanced autonomous platforms, Lucas is being positioned as a cost-effective, mission-adaptable solution designed to rival Iran's Shahid-136 drone, which has become widely used in conflict zones worldwide. Developed by Spectreworks, an Arizona-based defense firm, Lucas was one of 19 autonomous systems featured at the Department of Defense's July event. Each of these drones, including Lucas, progressed from concept to deployment readiness in approximately 18 months, well ahead of the conventional six-year defense development cycle. Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth attended the demonstration, underlining the Pentagon's push to accelerate the fielding of scalable, attritable unmanned technologies. Lucas is tailored to meet the demands of distributed operations, particularly across the Indo-Pacific theater, and has completed successful testing phases. Deployment across active military units is expected soon. While the drone was officially presented under the Lucas designation, its design aligns closely with the FLM-136, a target drone listed by Spectreworks. The system appears to have evolved from the FLM-136 platform, which features similar physical characteristics and roles. Spectreworks has participated in the Army's AppFit, Applied Small UAS Prototype Innovation Transition, initiative, which promotes the rapid introduction of low-cost, modular unmanned aircraft systems for complex operational environments. Lucas supports interchangeable payload modules, including surveillance gear, electronic warfare devices, or munitions. It operates using 12V or 28V power and features an in-flight switchable payload network. Launch options include truck-mounted systems and rocket-assisted takeoff, RADO, ensuring operational flexibility without extensive infrastructure or technical personnel. Classified as a Group 3 UAV, Lucas weighs between 70 to 100 kilograms and can function at altitudes up to 5,500 meters. Its triangular wing profile and piston engine mirror those of the Shahid-136, but Lucas introduces additional capabilities such as optional reusability and integration into the music, multi-domain unmanned systems communications, mesh network. This system enables the drone to function as a node within a larger combat network, supporting swarm coordination and digital battlefield operations. The drone's unveiling coincides with a broader restructuring of U.S. drone policy under the Trump administration. A directive titled Unleashing U.S. Military Drone Dominance, signed on July 10, 2025, calls for accelerated production, reduced regulatory barriers, and expanded access to expendable unmanned systems. Though Lucas falls into the heavier Group 3 category, policy changes are expediting its deployment alongside Group 1 and 2 drones, which are now treated as expendable tools similar to munitions rather than conventional aircraft. These reforms also grant field commanders greater autonomy in procurement, supported by new funding pipelines and simplified acquisition channels. Within the Pentagon, the Rapid Defense Experimentation Reserve, RDAR, has been institutionalized as part of the TREX, Technology Readiness Experimentation, framework. This program integrates live-fire testing and supports fast-track adoption of emerging systems. Lucas's development was supported under this model. In parallel, the Department of Commerce launched a national security investigation on July 1, publicly confirmed on July 15, into drone imports from foreign manufacturers, especially Chinese firms like DJI and Auto Robotics. The probe aims to assess risks to U.S. supply chains and could result in tariffs or restrictions, further incentivizing domestic production. Industry advocates, including AUVSI, have welcomed the move, citing the need to protect American innovation and critical infrastructure. Iran's Shahid-136, 
built by Hiza and widely used in conflicts from Ukraine to the Middle East, has become a defining element of modern asymmetrical air warfare. With its long range, low production cost, and widespread use in saturation attacks, it has shaped global perceptions of loitering munitions. Russia has repurposed the system as the Garin II for use in Ukraine, while variants or clones have reportedly appeared in over a dozen other countries. In response, Lucas represents not merely a technological match, but a shift in U.S. operational doctrine, favoring systems that are not only low-cost and versatile, but also deeply integrated into network-centric warfare. As drone warfare continues to evolve rapidly, platforms like Lucas will likely form the backbone of a new generation of autonomous strike capabilities.